Apple recently launched its 14-inch MacBook Pro featuring an M3 chip with a base configuration of 8GB unified memory, triggering renewed criticism over the perceived inadequacy of such memory in its professional-grade devices. Priced at $1,599, this new model replaces the discontinued M2 13-inch MacBook Pro. The controversy has prompted Apple's VP of Worldwide Product Marketing, Bob Borchers, to address the concerns in a recent interview and assert that the 8GB RAM in the M3 MacBook Pro is likely equivalent to 16GB on other systems. User Criticism and Upgrade Costs Apple's decision to maintain 8GB RAM as the baseline for its high-end laptops has fueled discontent, especially among creative professionals. Despite the hefty starting price, users can opt to upgrade to 16GB or 24GB unified memory at the point of purchase, incurring additional costs of $200 and $400, respectively. Critics argue that a machine marketed as Pro should come equipped with at least 16GB of RAM without requiring users to invest additional funds. Apple's Defense for 8GB Unified Memory on MacBook Pro during an interview with Chinese ML engineer and content creator Lin Yili, Borchers defended the 8GB RAM baseline, highlighting the efficiency of Apple Silicon's memory management. He argued that comparing Apple's memory to other systems is not equivalent, citing the benefits of Apple's unified memory architecture, which combines CPU and GPU memory resources. Borchers asserted that the 8GB RAM in the M3 MacBook Pro is likely equivalent to 16GB on other systems due to Apple's efficient memory use, including memory compression. Encouraging users to experience the system's performance firsthand, he emphasized the need to look beyond raw specifications and instead focus on real-world capabilities. In essence, Borchers urged users to move beyond mere specifications and truly understand how the technology is leveraged in practice. He suggested that users consult trusted sources who have hands-on experience with the systems to better appreciate their capabilities. The VP emphasized that the true test lies in understanding how the technology is being used, rather than fixating on numerical specifications.